Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of season 8 here in the career mode RTG. In the last episode we spent quite a bit of money, to be completely honest, and we brought in 3 really top players, 3 players that I'm delighted to have at the club that have drastically improved our overall starting 11. We have Mukiele, who's already grown up 1 to 86 at centre back. Teo Hernandez, who's already grown up 1 to 86 at left back. And Patrick Catrone, who's already grown up 1 to 90 rated up top. We could not have had that go better for us. Jen Bogle also got up 1 as we moved into the month. Of September. Mukiele, as you can see here, up one. Incredible physical stats. And technically, he's brilliant as well. And only £38 million. Pounds. Wonderful signing. I've got a bit of stick, actually, in the comments of the last episode for signing him over the regen Cisco from City. But technically, he's leagues ahead of Cisco. And if Mukiele was a centre-back, I reckon he'd be 88 or 89 rated with those stats. He's absolutely Incredible. Uh, Bailey's up one. Henriksen's up one. Perella up one to 84 as well. Confirmation that Teo Hernandez is up one to 86. Reactions and interceptions up. Acceleration now 99. And you can see these technicals are growing well as well. Great. That's absolutely superb. Growth as well elsewhere in the squad for a number of other youngsters. And also, as we saw a moment ago, Patrick Catrone also up one now to 90. Plus two strength. Plus one sprint speed, better reactions as well. His finishing's up one. Ball control and dribbling are both up by two. His shot power's up one. His passing's up one. Crucially, his stand tackle is now 29, so we can defend from the front with him. Uh, still a little bit of contention in the comments as to who should be Katrone's strike partner, whether it should be Gerzic or whether it should be Leal. I opted for Gerzic and... A couple of people saying, yes, good. A couple of people saying, no, layout. So we'll wait and see how things go. We start today with a game against Wolves, although that is going to be simulated. We have Chelsea, Manchester United and Bayern Munich in today's episode. So it's going to be absolutely huge. Player injured, don't even contemplate it. Mukiele's out for two months. Great. At least it's two, not seven. Can you imagine if he'd been we signed him and he's up for seven months? We weren't able to get him a uh, weren't able to get him a clean seat, unfortunately, on his debut. But we're still having a great season so far. That's really annoying, though, that he's now going to be up for two months. <laughs> but we shall throw Bailey in, who's now 78 rated, and we can put Henriksen. Actually, no, I'm going to put I'm going to put I'm going to put Crowder in. Because I love Mathrada. So we'll do that instead. As soon as he's back though, he will be back in the starting lineup. Right, Wolves first. We've got a very busy month actually. The Champions League starts today, as we mentioned, we've got Bayern Munich. And of course, in our group, we have Bayern Munich and Napoli. But we have Midland in this group stage game. Wolves here, Chelsea, Manchester United, Swindon at home in the Carabao Cup. We should win that. And then Bayern Munich. Big month in October. Arsenal, City, Napoli and Liverpool. Bloody hell, we're right up against it. Right, Wolves at home to start us off. They've won their last three games all by two goals to one. They've won all of their Premier League games so far. They are four from four so far. We're second behind them with three wins from four and a draw in our other game. So far, unbeaten in the Premier League. And other than Rebic's injury, as we approach the Almark, a couple of tran uh, transfers, a couple of substitutions. Morelles gives us a lead in the 17th minute. Catrone picks up a knock. Don't even think about it. Not Catrone and Mukiele. Two days. Two days I can cope with. Oh, talk about give me a heart attack. Oh, uh, Champions League. No, no, no. Copyright, please. Right, Midland away then in the Champions League with no copywritten music in the background. I am going to be playing my rotated 11 in this, or simulating with my rotated 11 in this, but that still should be strong enough to see off Midland. Obviously, I want my first team at full strength for the game against Chelsea at the weekend in the Premier League. 
and with games against Bayern Munich and Napoli also coming up in the Champions League, Midtjylland should be, in theory, the side that we pick up more straightforward points against. Although, as we approach half-time, we haven't gotten ourselves in front yet. George on for Mabil, Harrison on for Adebola. Oscar Hill, of all people, in the 67th minute, gives us a 1-0 lead. Spurs 2 up against Panathinaikos. I did see Chelsea being 1-0 down, actually, to Dinamo Kiev earlier on in that fixture. But we get the win. Chelsea are actually top of the Premier League now. Rafael Leal's pleased to have played, but he didn't score. We are joint top with Chelsea, and it's first versus second coming up next. We made three changes to the Chelsea side. Romero in at striker ahead of 78-rated Immobile. Saloy out of the starting lineup at 79-rated for Diogo Jota at 86. And I also put Stefan de Vrij in there at centre-back, actually, ahead of Gelin, who was previously in there. We could put you on the bench there, Christian Pulisic, in for Saloy as well. Interestingly for Chelsea, they only have two goalkeepers. Kepa at 90-rated, who's currently injured... And then Bulker, who's 70 rated and now will have to start against me. So they are not at full strength at the back, but only with regards to their goalkeeper. We might stand a better chance, or we certainly will, in fact, stand a better chance against Chelsea with their rotation 70 rated, 20 less than Kepa, a goalkeeper between the sticks. That might help us go clear at the top rather than just joint at the top. Around the corner there to Torreira. Here's Morelles. Oh, lovely ball looking for Ziegler. And he's away from the defender. Oh, what a save. He may only be 70 rated, but that was outstanding from Bulker. Ziegler's got 99 finishing. That's destined for the back of the net. Oh, that's unreal. What a stop. Fair play to the kid. Lookman with the delivery. Pirelli's underneath that. Oh, off the post and Defree will get rid of it. Oh, how have we not taken the lead there on either occasion? Great save. And, well, I'd say great stop by the woodwork. <laughs> Lookman, oh, poor pass. Madamola Lookman looking for Patrick Catrone. Not quite to be so far in this one, but we have had the best chances of the game so far. Christian Eriksen, little ball roll. In the shot at Valverde. They're playing the ball about nicely. And Benton has some space. Space that's then subsequently closed down. Morelles, I need some runners. Oh, will reach Torreira just dart inside here. And then we've got oh, space again for Ziegler on the right. I see Cotrone at the back post. I'm going to try and get it to him if I can. Patrick Cotrone with a header. Very well met. Also very well saved. This 70 rated keeper might be slightly harder to score against than I initially thought he was going to be. It means the ball so fast oh, across lovely little the flick. And, uh, Erickson to Maxi. That's great for nice tackle by player. Pereira. Lookman forward to Catrone. Cross to Adamola. Lookman again. I think the wide man's got a chance here. Turn his side. Ricardo Space Pereira's going to have the pace to line. deal with him. Catrone. Oh, couldn't quite find a teammate, but Torreira will find Ziegler. He'll get it into Morelles on his weak foot. He'll drop to Ziegler. Why is he headed that? Why is he headed that? All of the chances going our way so far. Put nothing into the back of the net yet. Morelles looking for Catrone. Oh, somehow he gets to that first. And he still powered his way through. But it wouldn't quite fall for him in the end. Pereira looking for the ball over the top. Pereira does well to win it. Fernandez holding off the man that was with him. Morelles looking for Catrone. In behind. Catrone on his debut. Maybe to score. Oh, Fede Militao. And out for a corner. No goal yet for Catrone. Punch clear by Bolka. Torreira, Ziegler. Oh, the keeper was stumbling and falling over. Gerzic in the middle, but the ball didn't reach his goal because of defensive interceptions. Leaving that there for Ricardo Pereira. Pulisic, but eventually picking up on the loose ball. Good substitute. Oh, good cross. Pereira's away. He's been very good in this game, actually, Victor Pereira. Particularly impressed with him. Pulisic. Ball into the middle. Pirella again in the way. Underneath this Catrone. He's done well to win it, but unfortunately hasn't found a teammate. Bentancur driving into space. Torreira stepping in well. And Gerzic's around the corner here. We'll go out wide to Lookman. Again, Catrone making good moves. We'll look for Gerzic, though. And he'll take a touch. Try and get away from the defender. Catrone to Adamola Lookman. Maybe an assist for Catrone. Lookman in the box. Oh, at last we take the lead. 
Oh, I wasn't sure whether it was going to happen. Whether 70 rated goalkeeper was actually going to keep himself a clean sheet here, the number 59. An assist on debut for Patrick Catrone. And a goal for Adam Olelukman, his second in the Premier League so far. Dallo down the line there to Suarez Garcia. Off the bench here. Gerzic will look for him. He's got Pashalic closing him down. Suarez Garcia, but will get the delivery in. Catrone. Oh, somehow Pereira got back to him. Lovely touch by Torreira. Around the corner to Oscar Hill. Not expecting him to score. Gerzic could, though, but he can't get away from Edo Militao. Defended superbly. They've edged possession, Chelsea. 52 to 48. But we edged the scoreline. Pashalic. Tackled by Torreira. Gerzic. Suarez Garcia. Still hasn't scored in the Premier League for a very long time. Not in a game that I've manually used him in anyway. 87 finishing on Suarez Garcia, but not looking like it on that occasion. Immobile on for Chelsea as they look for an equaliser. But I don't think they're going to get one. Catrone to Gerzic. Good footwork. Looking to get around the outside of Eddie Militao, who is an absolute rock Mario at the back. Pashalic. Easier said than done to get Jota. past him. Jota in there to Pashalic. Across to Valverde. Forward to Immobile. There's the final whistle. We go clear at the top of the Premier League with three points. Three points? Three points over Chelsea with a 1-0 win. I was hoping to score more goals than that and take advantage of their 70 rated keeper. But as you saw from a couple of the saves he made, it wasn't actually that bad. So unfortunately, just the one goal to nil. But I'm still very happy with that. Will put us top of the table and clear by at least three points. Elliot Bailey, last player to be trained. It's now Cameron Lee's turn. Hoping to get him up into the 80s. Up next for us, though, is Swindon in the Carabao Cup. Fully expecting to get a victory here, even with the re rotated 11. Again, playing the rotated 11 midweek as we have a big Premier League game at the weekend. And of course, Swindon really shouldn't be a match for this rotation side with 86 rated Leao and 84 out of Bowler and Davies. Still 87, Paulo Lopez in goal. This should be a pretty straightforward victory. They've beaten Oxford and Wigan Athletic to get this far in the tournament so far, Swindon. We'll see if they can go a step further. I certainly hope not. In fact, Cambridge United at home against Swindon in what was then Division 2 was my first ever attended Cambridge United game. Back in... A long time ago. The late 90s. I'm not sure exactly what year it was, but it was the late 90s. We get a 2-0 win against Swindon, though. Adebola and Leal on the score sheet. We'll play Gerzic again in this game against Manchester United. If he doesn't perform too well, Gerzic, then I might give Leal the start alongside Catrone for the game against Bayern Munich. But two massive games coming up now. No changes to Man United starting lineup. I contemplated putting uh, Depay in ahead of Monier, but it's Monier, of course. So. I want to play against my former striker and we'll see who made the better decision. Me selling him and replacing him with 90 rated Catrone or Man United stealing him away from me. I'd like to think that I made the right decision, but time will tell. There's it, back there to Torreira. Heavy touch. Really it's ball through to Catrone. Out to Adamola Lookman. It worked against Chelsea. Will they it work against they United? Not on this occasion. Lucas Torreira. Gerzic. Lovely spin from the Swede, but the touch was a little bit too loose. We win that header. Carilla does well against Monier, fighting against the former teammate. It's going to be the underlining storyline throughout this game, I feel. Gerzic, oh, was meant for Catrone, but it finds Lookman, who's twisting and turning, but can't find any space. Retzos, one of their new signings as well, Manchester United. We did have him on the shortlist as a potential new centre-back when you guys... Wild from me suggestions, but he signed for Manchester United this season. So we'll see if he's any good as a new signing for them as well. Monier to Alwa, back to Monier to Alwa again. Looking for space. Driving into a wide area. And beating off Diego Dallo. Barella draws the save out of Paul Lopez. In that position, he really should have scored. San Maximin to Alwa. Great football from the young Frenchman. It's probably not that young, to be fair, in 2025. 
Martial to Alwar again. Lovely little dink over the foot, but he's not going to reach him. He's not going to retain possession. Gerzic looking for Morelles. Adamola Lookman around the outside. It was Catrone to Lookman in the first game. Is it Catrone to... It's not... Oh, finish from Gerzic. It's not Adamola Lookman back to Catrone in this game. But it is Adamola Lookman with the assist. Gerzic heads the corner flag down to the ground after a stunning volley to give us a 1-0 lead here against Manchester United. Pick that out. Giving him the start, continuing on, mentioning that we might drop him against Bayern if he doesn't perform. He's performing. Out to Ziegler. Gerzic making the run. Good touch. Good turn. Going to have to stay away from Nathan Ake, though. Morelles overlapping run here from Theo Hernandez. Trying to just run offside. And he was the one I was looking to cross it to, so I just slightly delayed with delivering the ball. There's a good ball in. Nathan Ake underneath it to get rid of it. And Barella will complete the clearance. Barella is very nearly intercepting that. But San Maximin will complete the clearance. But Hernandez wins it back against his former side, actually. We signed him from Manchester United, didn't we? Terreira through there to Catrone. Yet really to have a clear-cut chance on goal, Patrick Catrone, since signing for me. Other than that header in the game against Chelsea. I would like to get him a goal sooner rather than later. Out of his feet here, looking to get past Ake, which he does. But he slows him up enough so that his teammate can get back to clear the ball away. 90 seconds between us and half-time. Still a 1-0 lead here. Carl Lopez to take the free kick short. They've taken Monnier off and brought on Memphis Depay. I've taken Gerzic off and brought on Rafael Leao. First time using Leao since the arrival of Patrick Catrone. We'll see if... He can have an impact off the bench. Win that, please, Victor. Brilliant header by Perella. Tom Davis is on as well. Catrone with a lovely spin. Driving into the box. Back on his right. Catrone can't get the shot away, unfortunately. He's been isolated for the majority of the game. Whenever I do get the ball to him, he's quickly closed down Patrick Catrone. They recognise him as a main danger man, but by doing so, they've been leaving the other striker Previously, Gerzic, now Rafael Leal. They were leaving him quite free. You can see how tightly he's being marked there by uh, Alwa. They're really picking him out as the danger man up top. And because of that, I haven't been able to really use him and be dangerous with him. I'm hoping that at some point I'll be able to break through with Catrone and actually get the opportunity to score his first goal for the club. Could be able to get this back into him here with Lookman, and we have done. And Catrone does score his first goal for the club. That was a great finish as well. From outside the box, David De Gea in goal. Not easy to beat at the best of times, but oh, it was just on the edge of the box, but shot power enough to beat the keeper. And to be fair, accuracy as well. Catrone is off the mark. Both he and Gerzic on the score seat here against United. They will both keep their starting spots for the game against Bayern Munich. Back inside here to Torreira. Catrone's there. There's Leao as well. Back to Catrone. Oh, he does get there to poke that to Adamola Lookman. They've got quite a relationship, actually, Catrone and Lookman. They always seem to find each other. And Catrone has a weird ability. It must be something to do with his high reactions of just getting a that's not where that pass was supposed to go just getting a toe in in situations similar to that one there with Teo Hernandez where Hernandez lost possession Catrone is somehow able to just get a toe in and poke the pass away and keep the ball lovely save by Paolo Lopez pop this looking for Rafael Leal I, I think it must be something to do with his high reactions but he's actually I've really enjoyed playing with him. he's not been amazing so far Catrone but I've actually really enjoyed using him in the opening couple of games of his Cambridge United career. As the ball goes out here, that will be the final whistle. And we'll get another set of three points in the Premier League. Really good start to the season for us this year. Only two highlights there, apparently, according to the, the game, were the goals. Although we had five chances and Man United had two of their own, including that one held on by Paulo Lopez towards the end. Up next for us is Bayern Munich midweek. Here's the starting lineup for Bayern Munich. They're playing a 4 2 3 1. Former player Angus Gunn starting in goal for them. We just played against Monier. Now we're playing against Angus Gunn. They do still have Manuel Neuer. He's 39. 
and he's 73 rated. His goalkeeping stats are awful now. Manuel Neuer fallen off the edge of a cliff. Never seen a goalkeeper drop like that stat-wise, even at the age of 39. They've got a couple of decent players. In fact, Mendil will probably go in there at right back. Can he play at right back? He can play left wing or left back. What about Menderos? Oh, Riveros even. I'm sure he'll be fine there. He's much better than uh, Fernandez. They've got a couple of options on the bench to call upon. I'll put Thiago Alcantara on the bench here for Maximiliano. Uh, and other than that, they actually don't have that strong a squad by Munich. But their starting 11 is very good. 90 rated Sula. 89 rated Fabian. They've got Onyakuru who they bought from Everton. Draxler and Mbolo, Alfonso Davies, they're at 86 rated. Pellegrini's very, very good as well. I'm going to keep my starting lineup as it is. Slightly tired, but still certainly fit enough to be able to do the job, hopefully, against Bayern Munich. They beat Napoli in the first game of the Champions League group stage, so we know that they have some pedigree, this Bayern Munich team. Hopefully, though, we can come out on top. It's the Champions League occasion. game. But it's daylight. Uh, this is weird. When I saw the Champions League, or heard, sorry, the Champions League music playing and saw blue skies behind my players as they lined up, I got a little bit confused. Gerzic will take the advantage and have the shot, but unfortunately it's well blocked and cleared away. I'm not sure why this game is being played at this time of day, but... Hopefully it's a one-off. And fingers crossed we can still come away with the win. I switch up by there to Dello. Down the line to Ziegler. I need some runners, please. Thank you for obliging Diogo. Alfonso Davies tries. He fails. Oh, it's dangerous. Angus God not taking any risks. Just batting that over the top of the bar. Needed to be done. Pirelli's underneath this and unfortunately flicks it wide. Draxler. And that's a Donald in Bolo. Diego Dallo got caught spinning on his heels there, and the pace of Alfonso Davis will cut me apart. But Hathrauda. Ah, superb until the pass. Draxler out wide looking for Pellegrini. I'm trying to get Teo Hernandez off Henry on Yakuru. Good save by Paul Lopez. He got stuck on him there and couldn't close the ball down. Delivery to come in from Pellegrini, perhaps. Yes, it is. Looped towards the back post. What a header from Henry Onyukuru. Thankfully, well held by Paul Lopez again. So glad that we made that signing of Paul Lopez. He's certainly improved our defensive capabilities. Oh, if only that had made it through that gap. Morella. Lost that out there to Adamola Lutman. would love to take the lead here before the end of the first half. Catrone trying to get there. He's got the pace and beats Sula to it. 94 sprint speed, of course. Oh, Gerzic's nearly underneath that. And Ziegler, too. Calmly done at the back by Bayern, though. Nil-nil so far in this one. Really even tie, to be fair. Paul Lopez has been drawn upon a couple of times. I haven't really had too many clear-cut chances to hit lead myself, actually, thinking about it. But I still feel like I'm very competitive in this game. But at the same time, I still feel like Bayern Munich could score at any moment. Here's Julian Draxler. Gertrauda again. 76 rated. Doesn't care. Draxler. In there to Mbolo. Nicely to Alfonso Davies. Out muscled by Diogo Dallo. Nicely done. Calmly done on the counter. Ziegler. I'm going to have to get this out of my feet though. We find Gerzic. Catrone's on his way. Oh, but Josue takes it off Gerzic. 99 acceleration. 99 sprint speed. Can't get away from Josue. Okay. Henry Onyukuru. Lovely double step over. Thankfully, Teo Hernandez. Takes it off him, but I'm not sure what that pass was. And Alfonso Davis. Is it Alfonso or Alphonse Davis? I can't remember off the top of my head. Gerzic will look for Lucas Torreira, though. Here's Adam Olukman on the overlap. Mendil out of position, but has more stamina. Lucas Torreira, space for Ziegler. And he's found. Oh, I have to cut back. Still looking for a teammate. Gerzic. Oh, and it cleared away by Josue. Change has been made for me. Adam Olukman going off and Dennis Adebola coming on. Ziegler crosses the ball in. Gerzic underneath this. Oh, headed over by Pellegrini, in fact. Let's try again. Ziegler with the delivery. It's decent. Catrone is underneath it. Could save by Angus Gunn. And Gong is on for Bayern. Very, very pacey striker. 
It's going to drop to Crowder. Forward there to Morelles, who's on his left foot. But it's comfortably saved by Angus Gunn down low to his right-hand side. 50-50 in possession. Nil-nil on the score sheet. I think as many chances created as each other as well. One of the most even games of football I've ever played. So far, not sure if anyone's going to be able to get a winner. Out wide there to Henry Onyakuru. Here's Ngong in the box. Told you it was quick. Pellegrini could save Paul Lopez. Full harm to it. Two changes for me. Tom Davies on, as well as Suarez Garcia. Good cross. Good header by Perella. Petroni's not going to get to it first, though. Thiago Alcantara off the bench here for Bayern as well. That's going to drop to Ngong. And here's Brill Donald in Bolo. Fabian. Good hands from the keeper. Really, really close game between the two of us here. It was poor from Suarez Garcia, although I guess he's not that good aerially. I shouldn't have expected much better, to be fair. Here's Brill Donald in Bolo. Nicely done by Tom Davies, using his physicality well there. Gerzic looking to get accelerated away. Suarez Garcia is away, but he won't be found. Three minutes to go. Still nil-nil. Game getting quite stretched here, going from end to end quite quickly. I'm very, very wary of conceding a last-minute goal to go 1-0 down. Give that there to Torreira. Suarez Garcia has the pace to get away and the acceleration. Suarez Garcia hasn't been able to score in the Premier League and can't score in the Champions League either. Angus Gunn with the save. Torreira to take the corner. In it comes. Good delivery. Oh, he came from nowhere there. It was actually Pereira that got on it. I just saw Gerzic arrive at a flash. And I thought it was him that got on it. It wasn't. It was Pirella who I was in control of. Wider the target went the ball. Oh, and it's going to be nil-nil here against Bayern Munich. We will both stay joint top of the table. What else happened, though, between Napoli and Midtjylland? Not sure yet. Midtjylland seemingly in almost every Euro European campaign that I have at the minute. Got them in the... Uh... Sorry, Mancini. You're not getting first-team football yet. I'm still really keen on keeping Mancini there because, like Victor Perella, he's been with me since the, the beginning. I think season two was Mancini, my scout future star. He's been with me for six years. I have quite a bit of loyalty to him right now. But that is going to be the end of today's episode. A draw against Bayern Munich. We face Napoli in the next one. And we've Reading in the Carabao Cup as well. That we should win with a simulation. Arsenal away, City at home and Liverpool away. I think I'll sim City at home and play the away games. So we'll play Napoli, we'll play Liverpool and play Arsenal. And then sim City and Reading. It's what makes the most sense to me. We will actually have a quick look at the uh, Champions League group as well. We're actually going very well in the Premier League now. I just saw that there as well. Yes, Napoli beat Midtjylland. What was the score? By three goals to nil. So this Champions League group is going to go all the way, I think, between the three of us at the top of the table. The Premier League is going particularly well for us. Five points clear at the top with a game in hand on Chelsea. Although Bournemouth still to play match day eight. Leicester still to play match day eight. Liverpool still to play match day eight. So And Spurs as well. But early doors, ourselves and Leicester are the only two Remaining unbeaten sides. Great season so far for us here at Cambridge United in number eight. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Episode of this and the Achievement Leave series back again tomorrow. And I'll see you then.